cross program that is globally known data types can be defined in the ABAP dictionary. You can refer to these data types in every ABAP program in the SAP system with the type addition for the corresponding ABAP statements. On the ABAP dictionary initial screen in the data type field, you can find the following basic types data element, structure, table type. You can use the type definitions shown in the figure, with the exception of the domain, to define data objects in ABAP programs. The arrows show how the type definitions can be used together. Data elements use domains or integrated types to define their technical properties. However, an ABA program cannot access domains to define data objects. Domains manage the technical properties of data elements centrally. Domains cannot be used directly in programs, tables, and so on. Data elements actually define data types which can be used on screens, search helps, ABAP programs, and complex data types. Data elements allow you to maintain field labels. These field labels, such as short, medium, or long, can be displayed on screens or selection screens to explain the field content. You also have to specify maximum length for the respective field label. If you work for a company that operates globally, you can translate the field labels into other languages. On the ABAP dictionary, choose Go To, Translation, or run the transaction code SE63. When specifying the maximum length, remember that the same term in the field label might require more letters in another language. In different applications, you may need to enter a particular value in several screens. A structure consists of components in the following forms. Data elements, integrated types, table types, definition of database tables and database views, other structure types. When the fields of an actual two-dimensional object are integrated in a structure by including a view or DB tables, the data object that can be generated from this structure remains flat and is one-dimensional. 
A deep structure is always created when you use a table type to define a component. Although this component is then two-dimensional, the other components in the structure remain flat or one-dimensional. The simplest form of a structure is a list of fields typed with data elements. This form of a structure is called a flat structure. A data object based on this structure type is always one-dimensional as opposed to table-like two-dimensional data objects. You address the individual elements or components of the structure using the name of the structure, a hyphen, and the name of the components. You can include another structured object in the structure and assign it to a component. The component refers to the structured object and the new data object is described as a nested structure. A dictionary structure containing one or more fields using a table type is called a deep structure. In ABAP, you can define table types using an existing dictionary type, database tables, structure definitions, views, data elements, direct type definitions, or existing table types can be used as line type. Internally, the system creates a two dimensional array in the main memory for each internal table. A deep structure contains at least one field with a table type. The component of this table has its own name with which it can be addressed in the same way as a normal internal table with loop at insert into table. An internal table in turn can have a deep structure as a line type. In this way, you can create multidimensional data types since internal tables and structures can be internested several times. Database tables can only include flat structures. Type groups can be used to define your own global, complex data types and global constants. Since release 4.5a, type groups are obsolete and usage of type groups is not recommended anymore. Instead of using type groups, you can use the options provided by dictionary structures to define your own global, complex data types. Also, you can use constant class attributes provided by ABAP objects to define global constants. The name of the type group can contain a maximum of five characters. In the type group, you can define constants using 
the constant statement. You can use the predefined ABAP types or the global dictionary types here. To be able to use the types of a type group in a program, declare the type group using the type pool statement. From these lines onward, you can use all constants of the type group. The definition of a type group is a piece of ABAP code that you maintain either in the ABAP dictionary SE11 or in the ABAP editor SE38.